Let's see how much smoother that looks and I'm blending it all in further. Just a dusting of mud. Yeah, it takes a little bit more time and yes, you've got to let this dry again before you sand. It would be so much better. Maybe that's the last step you're forgetting to do. And maybe that's why you're seeing your patches when you put a patch on the wall, you know? Because when you put all that effort in, and then if you still see the patch, I don't want you getting negative and disappointed and upset about it. Say, see, I, I knew I couldn't do it. I spent all this time and I can still see the patch. I'm not, I'm never doing this again. I'm just gonna have somebody else do it. But then on your next patch, it's like, oh man, the next person, he wants $125 to do this patch. I, you know, I just don't wanna do it. And so maybe it goes unpatched. But now, you know, hey, this is what I want you to know. If I can do it, I'm not a professional sheetrock patcher or, or professional sheetrock finisher or anything like that, but I've taught myself enough and I've gone through the aggro and the agony of doing a patch and seeing a patch and figuring out how to do a patch differently and better and easier and quicker and all that kind of stuff. And so these videos are for the benefit of you because I want you, yes, you, I'm talking to you, I want you to be a better sheetrock patcher so that when you get done, you'll think, oh, I guess I can do it. And if you can do that, you can paint your project. If you can do that, you can do the electrical stuff that I show you. If you can do that, maybe you can do some of the plumbing stuff that I show you. If you can do that, maybe there's some other things that I'm showing. Hey, my motto is, if I can do it, you can do it. And I won't show you anything I don't think you can do. Okay? That's what these videos are all about.